chemistry, we have the term for the periodic classification. In hyperperiodic classification. Periodic classification is all about arranging the elements in the periodic order, in the periodic table. So, in the periodic table, the periodic table consists of the groups and periods. How these periods and groups are formed? Very important. So, periodic table is all about arranging the elements in their specific groups. And in their specific periods. So chemists have for a long time looked for a way on how they may group those elements. But before we go ahead, let us see what we call it electronic configuration. Electronic configuration, how this electronic configuration can be used to determine three things. One, how it can be used to determine the group of an element. How it can be used to determine the period of an element. How it can be used to determine the balance of an element. Before we talk about these things, let us talk about how this electronic configuration can be used to determine group of an element, period of an element, and balance of an element. But in the periodic classification, it's all about arranging the elements in the periodic table according to their groups and according to their periods. But before we discuss that one, let us see in short how this electronic configuration can be used to determine the group, period, and values. Let us take an example of sodium. Sodium, number of electrons are 11. Now, electronic configuration of sodium is 2,8,1. Then let's see for that of aluminium. Well, aluminium is, it is what? 13. Huh? 13. 13. Now, this is 2,8,3. Let us talk about chlorine. That is 17. Electronic configuration is 2,8,7. What is that of oxygen? That is 6 is 8. Therefore, that is 2, 6. And so forth. If now you come to this one. Group, these are a number of shells. These are a number of shells. Number of shells. What is now we're talking about? It? Potassium. Now, we are having 19. That is 2, 8, 8, 2. We learned about it. What if now we're talking about calcium? 20. Now, we are having 2, 8, 8, 2. From here, we may determine what is called the blue period and balance. Let's stick to the let us start with the group. How this group can be determined from electronic configuration? This is the first shell, the second shell, and the third shell, and the fourth shell. This is an outermost shell, and this is an innermost, innermost shell. The innermost shell has the, it is maximum number of electrons of two. That is. But, we have outermost, the number of shells which are found in the outermost shell, 
nitamani saa zipo kwa nele mwezi means in the outermost shell how many electrons are there example here we have two electrons this is group 2 and it is written in roman number how many electrons are here in the outermost energy shell we have one now this is the group 1 now how many electrons are here in the outermost energy level we have group 3 now because number of electrons which are found in the outermost energy level are three the same applies to here we have seven electrons in the outermost energy level now we are having group 7 this is what we can say the same are here we are having group 6 because number of shells in the outermost energy level we are having number of, number of electrons the same applied here now we are have group 2 uh, now how group, many electrons so group 1 Yeah, it is sorry, it is one. Now this is the group one. So, group of an element, a group of an element, group of an element is determined by the number of electrons in the outermost shell, in the outermost shell. Now how many electrons in the outermost shell that is all about a group but period if now you're talking about period period is equal now to the number of shells number of shells or energy level energy level how many number of energy level are there example here if you look at here We are having 1 2 3 4. Now, this is period 4. And it is written by using Arabic numbers, means normal numbers. And then how many shells? 1 2 3. This is period 3. Now, how many? 1 2 3. This is period 3. Now here 1 2 3 this is period 3 And then here we have 2 this is period 2 means we have only two what we call it energy levels or shells Now the number of shells indicates the period of an atom Therefore it is from therefore you we are having period and group If that is the case how about balance next time we learn about balance but let us stick on knowing how and like now if now you want to mention them to write them you draw four rows then you have to draw eight columns then if now this is If now you want to write the period table with pick groups and period goes for a first twenty element first twenty element we are having this is the group this is the second group this is the third group fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh one eighth one this is the last one groups are arranged from 1 to 8 and they are written in roman number then this is period 1 This is the second period, this is the third period, this is the fourth period. Therefore, if that is the case, according to us, we have the song. Now we start saying, "Hello, Helena." Means the first and the last, but these are written now with nothing. "Hello, Helena." Lile, Bebelu. Bora, Chinda, Na, Ondoa, Tigo, Nene, Nani, Ngogo, Aliye, Simama, Mama, Hale, Serengeti, Klabu, Aludi, Kwao, Kanada. This 
Easter period kept the Bethesda in Jerusalem. Then after you have filled what is required, you wrap this side by using it. A rubber is now you have used a pencil on your board. Then you wrap this side. You find this is a periodic table. Now, those which are fine, those that you find in the first period, in the first period, you may see this hydrogen is one. And this is the second one. Means the number of shells here is one. And here is one. But here, number of electrons are three. Now, three is now two comma one. Two number of shells. Once you look at here, this is eleven. Now, it is two comma eight comma one. Once you look at this one, this is nineteen. It is two comma eight comma eight comma one. Group one is made up of hmm, those elements. That have that one electron to their outermost energy level. That is why one, 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 one. So these are found in group one. Once you go to this one, you will find here the entry is two, here two, here two. Example, calcium is the two comma eighty comma eighty comma two. The same apply. This is four now. It is two comma two. Now, at the end, or at, in the outermost energy level, the end is two electrons. So, number of electrons which are found in the, which we find them in the outermost energy level determines the group of an element. But the number of shells which are found in the elements determines what we call it the period of an element. Because electrons are found in the element, the shell is the element, the shell like if we share is equal map, you will period. Then, next time, we may learn about the valence on how we can determine. But all in all, you can write the group of an element. For example, for example here, this is in group 7. It is true that it is in group 7, because this is 17. Therefore, 17 is 2, 8, 8, 7. Means, 7 electrons which are found in the outermost energy level. So, this is very important. That is why chlorine, you find it in group 7. But for those which are in group 8, example, argon is 18. 18 means it is 2,8, 8. Number of electrons which are found in the outermost energy level are 8. That's why it is referred as group 8 element. So, group 8 element, because 8 electrons which are found in the outermost energy level, Group 7 element means 7 element, e electrons which are found in the outermost energy level. Group 3 means 3 electrons which are found in the outermost energy level. So, determine the group and the period using electronic configuration is something very simple and it is something very taken to be serious so as we may determine the group and the period of an element. The same applied, we may use the electronic configuration to determine the balance of an element. That is to be done in the next period now once we get time. We discuss much about this one on how we can determine it from electronic configuration. But for today, let us end up by talking electronic configuration that can be used to determine the group of an element and period of an element.